My name is Jean-Guy Talbot. Over these 30 years, I started my practice uh, from my basement with no clients, no employees, and built it at a current size of over 60 employees with seven locations across Manitoba. It has been a very fulfilling career for me, so I hope you will join me as I share some of the things that I've learned over the years about being in practice. And if you're new to this channel, I would really invite you to subscribe to our channel. I realize there is tremendous value in the journals that I use, and I do believe a lot. I just don't talk about it a lot. So it's going to be the first time I ever talk about my journals. And yes, there are more than one. So what I want to do is I'm not going to tell you how to use your journals because you can use it any which way you want. Anybody's got their own style. But what I want to share with you is how I use my journals, how it's helped me, and how it could possibly help you. So the first journal that I've got is just a, a daily journal. So I buy one every year, getting a Costco. This year I had a hard time finding one. I had to go to Amazon. Um, but basically all it is is a journal that you have one day for every, oh, page for every day. All I record in there is what I've done today. And you might wonder, well, what's the purpose of that? So just to give you an example, tonight when I fill in my journal, I'll say I spent the morning help mentoring uh, a young entrepreneur out in uh, Steinbach. In the afternoon, I made a presentation about journaling. Everybody was sitting at the, uh, the edge of their seats, laughing at every joke I was making and enjoying my presentation to no end. So that's what my, the, today's entry is going to be like. Um, the purpose of this journal is a couple of things. One is allows me to relive certain days of my life forever. So I'll give you an example. Uh, every now and then I'll pick up a journal from a past year and read a few pages of it. So just about two weeks ago, I picked up the year, I think it was 2003, because I've been doing that for a number of years. And I open it up, and the entry is very short. It just says, uh, made my way to Arburg today with Rene to pick up another motor for the godforsaken stupid skid steer of mine. Mm -hmm. That's all it says. Now the funny thing is, is I read that entry and the whole day came flooding back to me. And the things that I remember about that day is the trip to Arburg and back with René, who at the time was only about 12 years old, and all the talks we had all the way there. And the memories that I had with regards to the trip there and back was phenomenal. Because it was the first time he started talking about the girls that he was interested in. And we had tons of really cool, down-to-earth conversation with my 12-year-old. And that is an extremely, extremely fond memory of mine. A memory that would have been lost forever if I had not made that entry. And notice in the entry, I don't even talk about what we talked about. But the whole day came back to me in, in floods. So it's kind of fun to be able to go back and just relive your life forever and whenever you want to. So that is, a tr to me, tremendous value. Because we only live life once, so why not relive those good moments over and over again whenever you want to. The other thing that it serves is every now and then I will go to these stages where I'm thinking, okay, I'm not well. There's something inside here that's not well with me and I'm miserable and I don't even know why. What I found sometimes, I would go back through my journals and say, okay, what did I do yesterday and the day before and the day before? And then I remember, oh, on that day, I had lunch with Joe. Now I remember Joe said something that really bugged the hell out of me. And now I realize, okay, this is what's bothering me for the last three days. This is why I've been miserable and that's why my wife is wondering what the hell's wrong with me. So by knowing what was wrong, and it was Joe that kind of instigated this little bad feeling, I can start unpacking it and now get past and heal myself for whatever sentiment that I've got. So those are the things that I have in there. So like I said, it doesn't take long. I do that every night, and it's, uh, it's kind of fun to always go back and say, oh yeah, that was a kind of a weird day, uh, and, and just bring it back to life. Journal number two is this one here, and all that one is is full of ideas. So basically, how often do you drive down the road and you see something, you read something, you see a sign or somebody tells you something, I don't care what it is. And then you say, oh, what a great idea. I could do this, this, this with that idea. But you keep driving and the idea is gone forever. And so you've just missed out on an opportunity 
to use and capitalize on a great idea you had that just fled the moment and gone forever. So what I tend to do is I bring this thing along with me so in a place like today, I will take a few notes of the things that really resonate with me and so on and so forth. But I can put a whole bunch of stuff in here. So to give you an example, today when I'm done, one of the things that I'm gonna do when I get home is I've already got some notes in here, but one of the things I'm gonna do, I just picked up Kimberly's card and I'm thinking, I gotta meet up with her again because there's a few things that we shared that I thought we gotta get back together and work on certain things. I know damn well by the end of the week I'll have forgotten her name, what she does and all of that and we'll never connect. So what I do is I take her card, I paste it into here with a scotch tape and I write a few notes, gotta connect with her again. And what I do is every now and then I go back through my journal and I'm gonna see her card again and says, holy crap, I forgot all about Kimberly. Now with some luck, she'll have done the same with my card in her journal, so she'll remember who the hell I was when I call her up and a month from now she says, who the hell are you? But the whole idea is to not pass up any of those great ideas that you've got. And I keep saying, if you look at the success I've had in my practice, I am absolutely convinced that it is an accumulation of all a whole bunch of little ideas that I got throughout the years. And I've never had an original thought of my own. There's nothing I've ever done. People say, that was brilliant. Well, sorry, but I didn't come up with that. I stole it from somebody else. Every good idea I've had, I've always stolen from other people. So the only way I can make progress is if I mark down all these great ideas that I steal. So that's what this journal is for. Now, how you organize it, if any people want to know ways of organizing your thoughts in here, because I put everything in here from family to uh, uh, spousal relationship to business to marketing to family, and everything is in here. So I got to organize these thoughts, and I can share with you a little bit later for anybody who wants to talk to me on how I organize my thoughts in this journal because it can become very thick in, in a whole bunch of ideas. So that I can and share with you. Um, the other thing I recommend for, especially this journal, pick a journal where th that, that feels good. To me, it was important to be leather so that I, I want to hold it. So pick something that's nice um, and not terribly cumbersome to carry around, whatever. So pick something you like. Journal number three, I call it my black journal. Well, it's actually red, <laughs> but I call it my black journal because it is dark. It is full of really, really, really dark thoughts. And that was started about 2015 or so, if I remember correctly. I'd have to go back to the dates. But that one was born about 3 a.m. at night and life had just really come down on me and I was feeling really choked. And I got up and uh, I couldn't sleep and finally at 3 a.m. I found, found myself not able to breathe, um, wanting to give up on life. It was like really, really dark and I'm thinking, oh, I, need to, I need to get this out. My wife was sleeping and says, I'm not gonna wake her up because now she's gonna worry, so what the hell do I do with this? So I picked up a journal uh, that I had, I had several of empty ones, and I started writing my thoughts in there. <laughs> like I said, those thoughts were really, really dark. Um, I blasted everybody in there that had harmed me. Uh, God really took a beating in that. Uh, everybody went to bat. And it was, a, it was an opportunity for me to just organize these thoughts because I didn't even know what to make of all these ugly thoughts. But by putting them down on paper, it kind of started to make sense out of that. And then what I realized is that the next night I had another sleepless night and I went, and to be honest, I went five nights without sleeping at all. So you can imagine how <laughs> insane I was by the fifth night. But my thoughts kept evolving, and so it allowed me to kind of make sense, and I would reread what I had not written the night before, I said, no, that's not quite right. Here's what I'm really feeling, and I would just keep evolving. But that journal became critical to my healing. I'm convinced of that. And it allowed me to evolve my thinking, and going back and reading, and then going and moving along. So it became my psychiatrist. Um, I'm not too willing to share that. I've shared a few pages with my wife because sometimes I just need to sort a few pages, a few thoughts, and I would tell Lise, read from this page to that page, don't read the rest of the stuff because it's pretty wicked. Read these few pages and tell me what you think and then it would allow me to work things out. 
And I also used this journal with my therapist. I would go back and read a few pages of my journal to my therapist and say, here's what I'm thinking. And then he says, okay, I don't think that's what's really happening. But that journal was essential to heal the pain that I was living at the time. Um, so those are the three journals that I've got. And like I said, they have totally three different purposes. And they all have contributed to, I'd say my business success without a doubt, this one here. Uh, this one contributes to just fun and to some degree healing. And the other one is totally related to healing my personal psychological well-being. Because let's face it, after at the end of the day, uh, whether, whatever you do in business, it's 80, 90% psychology and 10% true knowledge, uh, in my opinion. So if you've got to take care of your mind, journal is a good place to start. Any questions or 